The manners to Allah is different. Manners to the Prophet is different. Manners to the Awliya Allah is different. Manners to your father it is different. These days, people don't know manners. They think one size fits all. And they'll cut off your tongue because he doesn't know where to fit. So we must be careful. If you're not being careful in Darga, when are you going to be careful? Where? If you're not being careful in front of your Sheikh, then where are you going to be careful? In front of Allah? How you know? In front of the Prophet, that time you're going to be careful? How are you going to know? When are you going to practice? When you have the chance? You're seeing us every day, 24 hours? No. So the time that you are seeing, the time that you are spending, you are not counting. You are not being aware of that time. <coughs> That's why it's don't so easy say we are murids. We are not murids. Who says we are murids? If we say we are murids, they will punish us. We are very, very far away from the real murids, let alone the sheikhs or the aliyahs, very, very far away. And we still don't know that, then we have the arrogance. That time the fire will reach to us. Nothing else is going to clean. You're still stubborn, more fire. You're still ignorant, more fire, he'll teach you. So if you are not going to practice it, right people, right place, right time to be aware when you're going to do it? When you're dead, when you're dead, that time you're just going to be punished. Time is finished. You are supposed to fight. Don't come to me and say, I'm nothing. I'm the worst one. Then get out of here. We're here to fight. We're here to become better. Some of you so say, no, no, I'm nothing. No. Using that as an excuse to have the worst kind of behavior. Using that as an excuse to be sloppy to be lazy, to be arrogant, to be dumb. But you're very smart when it comes to eating. You want to eat only the nice things, clean things. You are smart when it comes to doing other things for your ego. We are here to fight, to fight against to our lower selves. Do you understand what is your lower self? Do you understand? Are you counting your lower selves? Are you being awake and aware of your lower selves? Every day are you looking, this is my lower self, this is my higher self. Or you're not awake, you're not aware, or you don't care. Or you're living every day like it is every other day. Eating and drinking just like an animal. Is this what we are trying to do? To become an animal, are we trying to become murids? We should not be wasting our time. We should not be wasting their time. This is not our time. Time is not ours. Time is an emanat. Our space here is an emanat. How we know that we're sitting here, there's not thousands of other people that deserve to be here better than us. We know that. Then how we are behaving when we are here? Are we looking at our lower selves every day to see this is my lower self, this is no good. I always do this, this is no good. I always think this way, I always speak this way, I always make these kinds of excuses. I'm lazy like this, I'm tilki like this, this is no good, I must fight it, I shouldn't be like this. Then, when Thursdays come, you're going to say, this time I'm going to ask for more help. It's the holy time. I'm going to sit more on it. Jumas, you're going to understand. You're going to squeeze the barakat, the blessings of the Juma to fight against it. Or is every day going to come and pass? Empty. We should not be.
So, we should watch for our health, yes. We should watch for our spiritual health. Once in a while, you should be sick and tired. Why am I always sick? Why? When you get cold, one day, three days, you get tired from it. Seven days, you get tired from it. You get upset. One week, two weeks, you say, I'm tired from this. We are sick. We have illnesses, spiritual illness in our hearts that we are carrying for years. Are we sick of it already? We are in the best place to get rid of it. We are with the best people to get rid of it. We are doing the best things to get rid of it. Then why aren't we getting rid of it? This is not a gathering for people who just want to come to spend time with each other. This is not social gathering. Not in this derga, not when we are traveling. There are some who are thinking a social gathering. They come to collect friends. They are so blind, they're not even seeing it. They're so blind, their ego is fooling them. They like to feel special. They like to feel accepted. They like to... You want to feel special? Feel special with your Lord. You want to feel accepted? Feel accepted. Don't look to no one else. How are you going to feel accepted and special by your Lord? When you're holding on to your share, And you're listening to the sohbets and you're putting it in your life and you're stepping on your ego. You're not finding tilki, foxy ways to come out from it. When you're looking at your ego, when you're looking at your wrong things and your sicknesses and you're not making excuses, you're taking it and saying, this is me. And you're stepping on it. That time you'll win. That time you are fighting the holy fight. Otherwise, you're just playing games. You're seeing, but you're not seeing. You're hearing, but you're not hearing. And because you're not hearing, you're not seeing, you're not feeling. You think others are like that. You think your sheikh is like that too. They're not thinking. You think you may fool. You should not be. Inshallah. We should not be. No? We're here to become better, step by step. Our manners need to become better. Wa Allahu Tafiq al-Fatiha.